So we're just going to start sewing directly on these lines that we traced from the template. Now on most of my patterns, when you do them, you so you don't leave an opening. So there was no need for me to backstitch on that because I'm just going to come back around and meet where I started and backstitch at that point. So I've come to my where I started. I'm going to uh, go forward a few threads into where I started. Then I'm going to hit reverse and back up a couple of threads. One, two, three. Then I'm going to go forward again back to those three and then we're done. We can uh, cut the threads and be done and pull the project out. So now it's sewn all the way around. No need for the pin. Pull that other pin out and then go on to the next piece. We're not going to stop. We've done that one. Now it's time to go on to these next pieces and sew around these ones and then once we're done sewing all of these, then we'll be ready to cut them out um, and start assembling and getting them ready for stuffing. Alright, now that we've sewn, it's time. We've sewn it everything down. It's time to cut these pieces out. Uh, I like to use my nice fabric scissors that are used on nothing but fabric. That way they're nice and sharp. Um, I find the best way to go about it is to kind of cut away, like cut here, and uh, separate out some of these pieces first, you know, like do that, and then cut away this. Cut away all the kind of bulk and have them ready like that first and then individually cut them out um, and go in a little closer. On wool felt, I like to cut in as close as I can. Be careful not to clip into the thread because then you'll have to re-sew it. So you just start and you kind of go in. Um, on the instructions, it, I usually say that you need to be about an eighth of an inch away from that seam on wool felt on like cotton fabrics it's a good idea to give yourself just a little bit more room because of the weave is a little uh, looser weave than uh, like with this wool felt you have a corner like that you want to cut all the way in with the tip of your scissors be careful not to cut the stitch and do like that and then come in at an angle on both sides like that and pull that little chunk away if you find that you got a little straggler just clip again and then you see it indents close to the thread that helps when you're turning it not to bunch up there in the corners we've cut out all of our pieces now they're all cut, clipped in the corners, ready to go. Now's the time when I like to go ahead and get rid of my lines, my traced lines and the lines that I've sewn on. Set your iron to wool, because you're dealing with wool felt if it's cotton, set your iron to cotton setting. But uh, be sure if you're working with wool felt that you do set your iron to wool, because otherwise you will burn and scorch the the wool and you'll see here that by ironing this it just disappears uh, here's the next piece doesn't have to be long just long enough to remove the line and it's gone if you've used darker fabric like we did with the little bat you will uh, the chalk the best way you can do a little water but all I do is just kind of rub it with my finger like that. You're still going to see the outline of your threads, but the chalk isn't as prevalent as it was before. Uh, so now we're ready for the next step. 